Hey guys, welcome to, whoops, welcome to Xandra Live, what, um, so this is me showing you guys everything I got for my birthday, so I am going to set up my tablet really quickly, and this is officially every single thing, um, everything I got for before my birthday, everything I, for my birth, it was like for my birthday, but before my birthday, um, on my exact birthday, and then as well, exact birthday, um, and then as well, uh, uh what's it called? oh yeah, and for my birthday party, and before my birthday, like I said, um, and my, on my birthday, of course, so, uh, this is all in order of how I opened it, so let's get started. So, the first thing we have is Star-Lord. Sorry if the live stream's staticky. I'm filming on my phone. Ooh, and, and oh wait, that one person's me. <laughs> okay, so, first thing that I got was Star-Lord from Walmart. And I got this for my mom when we went birthday shopping. Oh, wait, no, wait, that was all not in order. <gasps> no! I have two items before my birthday, which were from the same person. So, uh, this is for my aunt. And uh, it's a shirt. She got it from Ross, and it was um, seven ninety nine. No, it was six nine nine, actually. Um, and it looks really pretty, and it has all these different like patterns and like prints, and it's really really pretty. And then we have this other shirt, and it. Okay, I'm gonna have to like set this down. I'm. So, this is the front, and it says hello with the little panda, and then on the back, it says goodbye with the little panda, like, with its back, and it has, it's, like, waving, and it's really adorable. This live stream is a little bit late on my tablet, because I'm, like, trying to see you guys' comments if you guys do come on the live stream, which will be probably a really long, actually not that long of a live stream. Um, anyways, so, this is Star Lord. Uh, the Walmart exclusive, and of course, I got him from birthday shopping. There is a video of him on my channel right now, so go check that out if you want to. Um, here he is. I guess I'll show you guys the, uh, all of the box. He's really cool. I hear he's super hard to find. I don't know if that's just that person trying to brag or something, but that's what I hear. And then I also got Maz Canata, I believe that's how her name is pronounced. From uh, the Star Wars film, The Force Awakens. Uh, I'll show you guys all the box. We have time. By the way, guys, happy Valentine's Day. Like, okay, I have a little speech for Valentine's Day. I know most people don't like Valentine's Day because their boyfriends broke up with them on Valentine's Day. Or they have bad stuff with Valentine's Day, which most people do. I think it's not just about couples or marriages i think it's more about sharing your love to people that you love like for instance my mom um i'm gonna draw her some stuff for valentine's day because i'm actually really good at drawing well in my opinion um so you just gotta show and appreciate them or at least spend time with them on valentine's day to show how much you care you know you gotta show you, ca you gotta show you care um, so, anyways, uh, also got, uh, Wonder Woman's aunt, I cannot pronounce her name, so, there you go, I got her from Walmart, from my mom, as well, I also got Maz from Walmart as well, and then, I also got Agent 13, um, from Ca Marvel Captain America Civil War, and, um, if anybody's watching right now in the live stream, comment down below. Um, anyways. Uh, so, uh, I got it from my mom on sale at, on sale at Walmart when we went birthday shopping for $4.50. Because her box condition isn't that great. But I'll show you guys the box. Sorry if you hear baby noises in the background. Uh, we're babysitting, uh, one of my, uh, sister's friends. Because she's doing something today. Here's the Funko Pop. Um, so sorry if you hear a baby crying. Um, it's not that fussy of a baby, so I think we should be good. 
Ooh, I got a like. What? Okay. Next up, we have this, which I actually have an unboxing of this. Um, this is from a blind bag for Stranger Things. I got it for my birthday, on my birthday, for my mom at Target. Um, I, there's a review of him up on my channel. Um, he has a blind box. But here he is. It's, um, if you couldn't tell, this is um, Mike from Stranger Things. I think it's the first season. Stranger Things? Yeah, it's the first one because it's bald 11. Um, and then we have Adorbs of 11. She looks really cool. I'll show you guys the packaging. I got her from Target for my mom on my birthday. Um, so here's the side. I still need Mike, Dustin, and the Demogorgon. Those are the people I'm missing. Um, but here is the packaging. And then, uh, we have another Dorbs of 11. This is the Target exclusive. Obviously, I got it from Target, um, from my mom. At, with her burger t-shirt. Same packaging as the other one, but you know what? And then here's the door itself. Sorry if you see some glaridge. I should have like filters for this. <laughs> um, and then we have Ghostbusters Mike, and I also got him from Target for my mom. He looks really cute. Okay, we're done with that. Okay, here's the back. Um, I am missing Eleven, Ghostbusters Will, Ghostbusters Lucas, Ghostbusters Dustin, and Max. Those are the people I'm missing. And then here's, like, different packaging. Look at, look at how detailed this is. Like, so detailed. With even like little name tag and everything. Ah. And then we also got Joyce. Um, I also got her from Target for my mom when we went birthday shopping on my birthday. Here's the packaging. And again, I'm missing Eleven, Ghostbusters, Will, Ghostbusters, Lucas, Ghostbusters, Dustin, and Go and um, Max. I was not able to find Max at all. And then we also have Dr. Brenner, which I also got him at Target from my mom on my birthday. And this is from Series 1. So, I am missing um, 11 Hospital Gown Hopper. I'm just missing those two in the series. Those are the only ones I need. Um, by the way, I have a review up of Nancy on my channel. Go check it out if you want to. And then here's the actual Funko Pop himself. Pretty nice. He looks really nice, actually. And we also got from Target, from my mom, on my birthday, uh, Lucas. He's the 8-bit version. And then here's the back. I am only missing the Demogorgon. That's the only one in the series I'm missing. I wasn't able to find him. And then, I also got from a birthday from my mom at Target, Mike 8-Bit. Again, I have all of them except for the Demogorgon. And here's him in general. No one is here yet. Just me. Um, but then we have 8-Bit Dustin. Um, I got him to Target on my birthday for my mother. Again, only missing the Demogorgon. And then, we have 8-Bit Eleven, which she's not exclusive to Target, but I also got her at Target for my mom on my birthday once again. Still missing that Demogorgon, but she looks really nice. 
All right, and then we went to the mall on my birthday with my mom, and uh, I wasn't able to find any Stranger Things Funko Pops in the aisles. They ran out. I was really looking forward to getting that Eleven Hospital gown, but they didn't have it. So, but I looked on the seventy percent off uh, Funko Pop shelf, and they had a Grandpa Joe from Willy Wonka, the Charlie Factory. So I just had to get him. So here he is. He looks really cute. With his little, like, fizzy soda. I'm missing everyone in the set. I only have Grandpa Joe. Which is a very old series of Funko, so I'll probably not be able to get any others. But I just really liked him. He just looked really cute. And I just had to get him because he's so adorable. And this was from my mom from Barnes & Noble. And then I got from the comic book shop. I got... Um, Joyce with Christmas lights. Sorry if you hear my subscriptions going off. Um, my one of my YouTubers posted a video. So it's Joyce with Christmas lights. I got her from the comic book shop. Um, from my the local comic book shop for my mom on my birthday. She looks so adorable. And actually, this is kind of different from the back of the box you saw earlier. I'm missing um, under 11 Underwater. I'm missing Mike, Dustin, Lucas, Will, and the Demogorgon. But that's all I need is... So that means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I just need 6 more to complete this series of the first set. And then we also have Barb. I got her, also got her from my local comic book shop. They had a whole bunch of her um, on my birthday from my mom. Here's the back. Look at how much detail she has. Like, hair, like, everything. Um, and then we have Eleven with Egos. I also got her from my local comic book shop from my mother on my birthday. Look at that detail. Yes. Please. Yes, please. <laughs> and then I went to Hot Topic after that. And I actually got a few pens, but I don't have them with me, unfortunately. Um, But there, one of them said Zombie Boy, and it had Will on it from, you know, when the bullies have it on his locker. You'll have to watch Stranger Things to understand that. But please uh, be overage to watch it. Be at least 14 and up. Um. Like, at least 12. I was 10 when I started watching it, so, I mean. Because I had a parent's supervision, and also my mom allowed me to watch it, so I, I'm, I'm good. Um, yeah, you gotta ask a parent's permission, you know? Um, I'm used to gory stuff, because I uh, love gory stuff, you know? You know, it could... Like, make you puke sometimes because of all the goo. And it can scare you. And there is cursing in there, but not that much. Uh, but then we have Will. And I got him from, of course, Hot Topic. From my mom on my birthday. I'm still missing Dustin, uh, Mike, and the Demogorgon. Sorry about my nails. They look horrible. And then here's the side. And then here's Will in general. That's a lot of detail for adorbs, I must say. I used to complain about how less detail there was, but now they are adding a lot of detail. And then I have Lucas, of course, because I have to get that Lucas. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. There was a warning on my phone with the airtime, but the, I don't really pay attention to that usually. Um, It's been 14 minutes. Oh, no. This is not good. It might stop the live stream. I love his backpack. I think they all have... Do they all have backpacks? Oh my gosh! Of course, Eleven doesn't, but... Wow! He's even holding binoculars. That is really cute. He has, like, everything. And then, uh, the last thing... I only got one Fungo Pop from... A Hot Topic. And it's, uh, Dustin and Dart 2-Pack. And this is the Hot Topic exclusive... For my mom on my birthday. Ah, that's not big. Here's the back again. Look at Dart though. Look at how tiny and little and cute he is. Until he becomes a demogorgon. 
until it uh, becomes a demo dog. Sorry, King for noise, probably. But look at this Dustin. I don't need to buy the regular Dustin now because it's the exact same. So I'm just going to keep it. Except he's, the only difference is he's holding the trap. Of course, his original hat. I wish they would have added something more than just like this to his t shirt because he had more like nerdy t shirts, you know. But whatever. That would be really cool if they had like a D and D t shirt for him. That would be really cool. Um, and then once we got out of the car, my mom actually surprised me with Jonathan. I have no idea where she got him, and I'm pretty sure the candy shop had all eleven hospital gown, but I I didn't go so. But my mom surprised me with Jonathan in the car. By the way, there might be a live stream part two if the it stops. It's been fifteen minutes. Um, so I have no idea where she got this, but it's Jonathan and I love him and he's amazing. Like so amazing. Like, oh my gosh, look at that detail on him. Like, OMG, what? And of course he has his camera. And then we're moving on to my party. So that's in for my actual birthday, and now we're on to my birthday party. Um, I will explain my birthday party. So there was um, red tablecloth and black and red streamers. There, I had black and more black um, party like plates and forks and. A lot, and then I had an Eggo waffle bar, and instead of a cake, I had Eggos for, like, I was scared that it was gonna, I was about to tip over and catch the, the, um, table on fire, but it didn't, I caught it, well, my mom actually caught it, but I almost caught it, um, and, yeah, they sang happy birthday to me, and it was amazing, Anyways, uh, I know this isn't actually a birthday present, but my mom got this for me um, before my birthday party, and it's a little party hat, and it's super adorable, like, super duper uber adorable, and again, happy Valentine's Day! Um, so it's just really cute, I got it at the Dollar Tree when we were looking for stuff, but this was the closest to the colors I could get from Stranger Things. And then we have my pinata, which, of course, is already kind of destroyed, but it's not destroyed. It's a pull string, and we actually had to home make it, which I'm going to teach you guys how to home make this. And luckily, this video is going to re-upload, so you guys can re-watch it to, like, get all the supplies. Because, um, by the way, guys, if you do make this, you have to, um, like, in the comments below, like, put a photo if you ever do, do this. Now, let me show you how to do a DIY 11 panada. It was amazing. Okay, let me just grab it. And this was my mom's idea. I wanted a panada. Because I've only had panadas three years now, if you include this year. I've had, uh, when I was in kindergarten, I had a flower panada and... It was pink and purple. It was purple on the outside and on the inside with the little petal. It was pink. And then my second year, which was like my ninth, my tenth birthday, actually, um, I had a Star Wars themed panada, which it was BBA. And then we have this year's, which is eleven. Which oh my gosh, it looks so amazing. So I'm gonna gently grab this really quickly if I can. Because I don't want to run over my dog. Okay, I got it. Alright, I guess I'll tell you guys what you need for this craft. So, what you need for this craft is you need um, a panada in a shape of kind of a human body. Or like that's used for like a body. Because you need like a body proportion. Um, you could get those at very different places. I don't really know where. Um, you need worms, black worms. Like, these kind of black worms. Um, you need a printer and printer paper. You need blue streamers, pink streamers. And that's about it. Oh, and also glue sticks. About two or three glue sticks, depending on the size. Um, and red paint. And you understand why red paint. 
So, um, my mom actually went to Party City for the panada. She did not buy it like this. Uh, it was a Sophia the First part panada. Uh, but she scratched off the face. And then she printed off an 11 face. This is one that I would prefer you guys use, definitely. Um, and then she put it on the thing right here. But before she did that, she put black um, streamers to cover up the purple. And then she also put noodles, um, not noodles, but uh, worms to be so it would look like the upside down. Um, and then she put some red paint on her nose so it looked like she's using her powers. And then she put a layer of pink um for her dress and then she actually put another layer for like she scrunched up the paper for another layer and just did glue sticks for this and it looks amazing and then she also she's so she's paranoid about doing hands so she printed off some hands and she uh put them there and she also put two pieces of blue for her jacket and also printed out of course arms and an ego because 11 with her egos um and of course it's just purple down here and screen is pink and purple and this is how it looks on the back the back is kind of coming undone uh but that's okay so, it's been 21 minutes and 57, 47 seconds. So, I'm going to go set this down. I'll be right back with you guys. You know, I'm just going to set this right here for now. All right, I am, like, surrounded. I don't know how I'm going to get out of my bed. Um, My dog is right here with me. I'm just going to show you guys. Look how cute she is. All right. Huh. Next up. We have every present that I got for my birthday party, which was like, yes! I can't really lay down while I'm doing this. Okay, there we go. Oh, this feels nice. Alrighty. So, um, the first thing I got for my birthday party was Fun Time Freddy. I have not played Five Nights at Freddy's. I've heard about it. I love it. Actually, it's from Sister Location, but it is. Fine, it's Friday's basically, but Sister Location. I only have one Funko Pop of it. I'm not allowed to play the game. I will get it when I'm 14, though. My dad will not let me get it until I'm 14. Um, anyway, so this is uh, Fun Time Freddy, and he looks amazing. I still need Fun Time Foxy, Ballerina, and Baby. But he looks so detailed. I got him for my cousin. So here's just a cute, cute little viewing. You know what? The black eyes kind of add to the creepiness. Like, I didn't realize how creepy it was until now. Like, oh my gosh. That just adds to the creepiness. The black eyes just look like, ugh. I'm getting chills just by the Funko Pop. <laughs> okay. And the next thing I got is Wonder Woman, um, and I got, also got her from the same cousin. I only had one cousin here, but whatever. And then, sorry, gonna have to, oh, by the way, from Walmart, I got two Lego Batman bland bags that I forgot to tell you that are series two, and I got Black Canary and Skeleton Man. Um, anyways, and then back to the birthday party, I got this really cool card game that I'm not going to be opening, but here it is. Look at this. Nobody's here. There's only me watching. But, you know what? Oh no, time's almost up. Okay, you guys can read the box. there um and then uh she also got me from this girl that brought me the cards also got me two pairs of socks which i needed desperately i had um there one pair was 
white socks with black stripes and the other one was dark green socks with like black tips had a puck face on it with a heart and it said like fun on it or like pug or something like that i don't really remember what it said but it said something really cute or just something i don't know maybe something random Oh, I can look like I have a winged look. A winged look. Okay, next, on to the next friend. So the next friend got me one gift. And that is this Strawberry Kiss um, plushy bank. If you guys don't know what a plushy bank is, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a plushie and a bank mixed together. So uh, this is from Shopkins. She's super squishy and cute and adorable. Honestly, I keep her on my bed. She is so adorable. Uh, this is... They had three other ones, I believe she said, which are accurate. I actually asked for this on my Christmas list, but I didn't get it, which is okay, because I got, like, a million Funko Pops. <laughs> um, that's dramatic. I didn't literally get a million Funko Pops. No. Uh, but... Ooh, she looks super duper adorable. Like, yes. Like, look at the top, too. So, you put the money in, and then it goes. And then on the bottom, you can just let it go. And it's your cute little plushie, and it's so adorable! Mm. And it smells really good. It doesn't, it's not scented, but it just smells good. Mm. Honestly, I do keep it on my bed. I snuggle with it at nighttime. It's so adorable. Alright, on to the next thing. <laughs> So the next gift I got two from the same friend, which oh my gosh, like how much money would this be? Um, so the first one I opened was Wonder Woman, and this is uh from like the awards movie, you know, when she gets like the awards. She looks so pretty. I should do like a mini review of her, like <sighs> Yes, I already opened her because my friends wanted to see her in person. These are $19.99 separate in stores. Like, OMG, she got me two. Which, uh, I'll show you guys um, the other one later. Because best is for last. And I think you guys would know my favorite superhero. Almost my favorite supervillain. Like, oh, oh, female. Super villain. Just take a guess in the comments below. Um, but that's... They're $19.99 a piece. And she got me two. So that's thirty nine dollars and ninety eight cents. Wow, was a that's a lot of money. Um, she couldn't decide which one to give me. So there's Wonder Woman, like the formal version of her suit, and then we also have the original Harley Quinn. Well, it's not original Harley Quinn, but it's the original DC superhero girl. It's like, how did she get this? This must have been like a million dollars. Just kidding. Let's start the little mini review since this is almost over and I want to make this longer because I am so boring. Um, so, <laughs> she has her original black hair, but she actually has blue highlights. People are arguing all the time about, she has blue hair. No, she has black hair. She has black hair with blue highlights. Get it straight, people. Gosh, you're arguing over stupid stuff. Um, anyways, so she has blue highlights with black hair. Gosh, people. That's it. Um, and then... She has her tan because she's an Amazon and they always have tans. Except for her mom and her aunt, which is kind of weird because they're always outside. Um, and then she's wearing her, I'm pretty sure they, they call it a tiara, if I'm not mistaken. Um, which is really pretty. It's it's gold and with the, um, a red star. And by the way, uh, she's uh, articulated in the head. So she can go back and forth um, in the wrists and in the elbows. And also, uh, uh, I believe this is her um, hips. Yeah, she's articulating her hips. And then also at the knees. So, there. Anyways, uh, she has stunning blue eyes, as always. With her 
obviously done. <laughs> um, eyebrows with um like a peach color lipstick. Really pretty. She is awesome, amazing, and I love her. Uh, <laughs> and then she is wearing her gauntlets with just the Wonder Woman symbols with the stars. And they're both on both sides. And then she has a short-sleeved red shirt with um, shiny red stars with her um, two Wonder Woman pieces. Which do, uh, well, one of them is rubber banded on, but I'm not going to take them off. But the top piece isn't anymore anyways, but I'll show you guys more detailed look of it. So here's her chest piece. For like her armor, it's really pretty. And put it back on her. It's really easy to clip back on. Um, and then we have her cape, which is just a white, really easy, flowy cape. And at the bottom, it has a gold trend with a blue skirt, which is actually kind of like a pencil skirt. And then this long piece. Which goes down to her feet to show her Amazoniness. Um, and then we have her shoes, which are like the main part of everything. Um, whew. so she has red boots with gold lining, and they're so gorgeous. She has very long heels, I must say. Look how long these are. And they just come up really easily. Just like that. Which are really easier than the Monster High ones, that's for sure. Um, I used to collect Monster High when I was littler, but I love DC Superhero Girls now, so. Yeah, these are my first two, which I'll probably be my first last. But, yeah, they're really expensive, so I don't really get them. <laughs> Um, and then we also have Harley Quinn, which we'll do a little review for. It's been 32 minutes. Wow. Um, uh, so basically she has her bleached blonde hair with under here. She has blue and then over here she has red. And then she has her light, light, light skin with her black mask, which we're just going to feel your ordinary for a minute. Um, with her blonde eyebrows, with her blue eyes with her red lipstick cover that back up um and then uh she's articulated the same ways um and then she's hold wearing a black um spiky bracelet which by the way she does come with the mallet but i don't have it with me right now it's actually in my car <laughs> um it just has a blue handle with red mallet it's pretty simple it's pretty heavy on her, though, so it flops down all the time. Um, anyways, so, the she has, like, see-through sleeves. I don't know what they're technically called. And then she's wearing a matching with her bracelet black spiky um, belt with a white shirt that is buttoned up. Um, that has black buttons with one side red and one side black. And then she has, um, blue shorts. Blue, darkish, bluish shorts. That are just Velcro. And then she has, um, molded on black and red leggings with, um, white socks which you can't see the patterns but she they're actually like those card patterns for cards and then she's wearing like high heel shoes they're supposed to be comfortable um with black lace which she's really really pretty i really really love her comment down below oh, wow i have a lot of funk pops with me okay we have a couple more things, and I'll show you guys my cake topper to end the video off. 34 minutes. Wow. Okay. <laughs> um. 
So, nobody hasn't even watched this video yet, but maybe if I stick on long enough, but that would be a long time, so. Okay, then I have one more gift for more of my friends, and then we have uh, a gift after my party that I'll show you guys, after my cake topper, but we have three last gifts from one of my friends, actually four last minute gifts. Before we get started with that, I'd like to show you guys something. This is artwork that my sister's friend made me. He is very talented. It's a Demogorgon. It's very nice. It's like a magic card. You guys can pause this and read the life source. It's a really good card. I don't actually play this game. But I I actually hang this up on my wall and it looks amazing. Um, back to my stuff. So first things that I got was these earrings, which I need to repierce my ears to wear these. Which these look so cute. Like sorry that my dog is making noises, but she's so adorable. <laughs> and these are so adorable too. And I love the pearl earrings and like tulips. Oh my gosh, I love those blue ones. Um, and then anyways, we got a wind up poop toy, which poops candy. They're just little, uh, balls that are just different colors. Basically, you can put four balls in here. That's how much it holds up to. You can't put the whole pack in there. Um, and then you wind it up forward. And then you just let it roll. It sounds like a ghost baby crying. Honestly, that's what it sounds like. <laughs> But it's really adorable, and it's totally worth it, and I just love it. Um, and then the last thing, actually, wait, no. And then she also got me a BFF necklace, which I hope she did meant for somebody else than her, because I gave it to somebody else. I don't know, but this sign says friend, and it's rainbow, and it has a bow on it. Super cute. And then we have the last thing. That she gave me, which is an emoji coloring book. What? Um, it's so adorable. I've colored in a few pages. Um, this is the first page. <laughs> yes, I'll show you guys. That's how I have already. Um, I just colored in blue pixels, the, the little blue pixels, the little hand with the hearts. It all. I just colored it all. It took me like literally half an hour just to get that little page done like almost half an hour not fully half an hour but almost half an hour and nobody has joined the live stream yet but i don't you know what don't worry about it <laughs> um and i've also colored in this page which it has way too much yellow i will say but the only thing that wasn't yellow is their pink tongues well, the, these the, these two emojis, pink tongues, and the little blue. And then I also did this maze, which I colored in the pixels. I did the maze, I put in the answer in the box, and then I also colored in the pixels and the little poops. And then last page I got finished um, is this Halloween page, which took me forever to do because I, I had to, like, do this one, which took me forever to do, but it's totally worth it. And I'm, I do one page every night, so tonight I'm going to be doing Crazy Maze. Hope the Santa emoji, um, throw the, go through the maze to deliver the gifts. And I'm going to do that tonight, because I do it once every single night before I go to bed. Um, so I'm going to do that. It's been about four days since my party, so, yeah. Um, anyways, so then we have my cake topper, and then we have my last-minute gift, my mom, which, uh, she always gives me old little gifts, or just, like, at least one little gift for my party, just because she's nice like that, and she's amazing, and, you yeah. know. Okay, <laughs> I gotta go get my cake really quick.
Okay. So. This is, a, this is my kick topper. And it's 11. And it's an action figure. And she's so adorable. And hang on. got to make her even better. You guys will see what I'm doing. After I'm done. She looks so adorable for a figure that the character that doesn't have that much detail, like anything to her, like she has detail. Um, she has her shaved brown hair. She has her brown eyes, her bloody nose, her blue jacket, her pink dress her almost to her knee but not to her knee socks that have the green and yellow stripes her white sneakers with her white lace and then we have this for my mom and you're like what is that it's a thing that helps you see like everything makes it, everything look bigger on your phone maybe i could show you guys you put it on your lens and oops i did not mean to do that and it makes everything better and did you guys watch Millie Bobby Brown's live stream? I know I did, and I enjoyed it. Oh, wait, I put that on wrong. Oh, no. I'm trying to make you guys know the... Okay. It doesn't work on this angle, but it's really cool, and it makes everything seem bigger, so it's really amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this live stream. Unfortunately, nobody joined in with us, but that's okay. Maybe next time. Until next time, guys. Sorry for not live streaming my um, thing, but the live stream, the live stream was not working. Um, so. Ooh. Yeah. Hang on. Bye, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. What was that? I don't even know. This video has been 42 minutes and 17 seconds long. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. And you want to say bye? Want to say bye, baby? Want to say bye, baby? Bye, guys. I can't do little voices. Look at how adorable she is, though. Okay, sorry. Look how adorable she is. So adorable. Okay, bye, guys.